Gentlemen from Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. This is gonna be something else. Marquez and Diaz, too. Remember, Marquez won the first fight, but it was a war, and this one promises to be the same. The baby girl with white shoes. And they start right in with a lift off a year or so ago. Marquez reaches down below. He, let's see if he can execute what Ronnie Shield says in and out. It's exactly what he does. Bernard Hopkins, one of the best at seconds. He can move his mic come out a little faster than he did once in a while. I mean, for a counter puncher, look at this. Maybe this is rounds five through nine. A lot of confidence at the end of that fight. And you're right, Kevin. That's how he should be fighting. Championship fight. You and guys are really sensational now in the United States. On Puerto Rico at the Philippines. And Marquez is gradually on this mix with the mess out of their elite heroes. Today, not out in front of things, not overly flashy, just consistently hardworking. Ronnie said he's getting back out, so he's not getting a clear winner in this round. Here's Marquez with the left hand. Big hook, right hand down the middle there. Beautifully done. Watch from the set trap. Right, that's why I gave Marquez that round. Let's see if Diaz can close the gap faster, land more punches, and get out of there just as quick. That's what Ronnie Shields did. I think that the audio is pretty good in there. You could probably end the... Now, the other thing for Diaz is to pay. And he can come over the top of the right hand if he's quick enough. Well, that's the key, if he's quick enough. Because Marquez is so well, look at this. Make sure he gets something we're gonna take out. And then he, he went straight back there with the set. Need to move on the angles. Good body shots by one man well. He knows how to use it. He turns that left shoulder in more. Jab, uppercut. Very technical, but he's doing it. That's the that his best punch of the fight there. Good. The boxing is terrific. too long on this situation. It's one thing to do it against the sparring partner. No Marquez, there's no question. As round well two goes in, but here we go. Marquez leading by two rounds after two. This is round three. In the first fight, Diaz was winning by two after two. Uh, and Gandhi didn't do that because of the stepped up the pace here. This is like round 14 and 15 of the first fight for Marquez. Beating him to the time he was off balance but he his hands were so so i mean that's only one of you and the the gym they straight at him and beat him and marquez did the same one of the last best. time with some, with some angles thrown in and he muscle diaz one of the best railway fights that i've ever called they was upset because he got cut and it wasn't intentional the 
Marshall that jabbed more close, and he was winning it just by a little bit in terms of the hand speed, but it was enough. Jab Mark Diaz. Oh, that jab. I caught him. These guys will see the perspiration and want to fly. But maybe when you get to seven, eight, and match your brain of the ability to do what your mind wants to. Diaz. Problem is, is Diaz is fighting low. He looks good defensively, but he's not running any rounds. Oh. Look at this! On the assault! There's a bell of sounds! Fighters don't. Fighters are fighters. But he is 36 years old. Not old chronologically, but now the ball has got to start winning some rounds. In and out, in and out, but slow coming in. See, he's getting pinging. Minute gone in the fourth round. Hey, Bon Tempo, we're at the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, Nevada. One, and now has just landed a big shot, and he's a... Baby Bill stands the sled with him. Remember, Shea said, get in and get out. He's sledding with him. Here comes Marquez. He's... Now I see his legs tight. And the interesting thing is, as rounds have gone along in fights, in a lot of his big fights, bank early, and it's gone completely. And Marquez is not taking any time off. As you saw up here in the old US of A. And here's Marquez with the uppercut that he has in trouble for the entire second half of the round. All right, here we go, round five. Because he gets forward and then doesn't throw. He's had fight play. Floyd May wouldn't do it. Many uh, I mean, Marquez is just boxing terrifically. Lean on you, break you down, and then take him in front of 140,000 people in the prime of his career. He, in the prime of his career, he, and then he destroy him upstairs. And then, of course, he stayed in the too long, like they all do. There have been no feints, and his chance is faint right now as Marquez gets inside. Everything Ronnie Shields tells him is exactly right. He's given him the right directions, but this kid can't execute it at the stage of the fight. Confident in those fights. The guy who's more experienced, but it's Las Vegas. They're setting a nice pace. Uh, fake and fake out a guy of Marquez's caliber. Uh, I love the movement here by Marquez. You know, the first fight was more of a war because Diaz was winning at this stage. But this guy's been a, to fight. You know, the really big money fight. Look at him chasing Diaz around. He wants to finish him off. The bell ends the six. Marquez is one every one. Here is the right hand for Marquez gets blocked, but the left hook does not get blocked. Right through the gloves, leans in for another uppercut, then a right hand. And you see why. Michael Katsidis is number one, and then comes the South African, uh, Funica, and then Acosta and Humberto Soto, and the Mexican undefeated. And he's 29 and 0. Kind of where you have to buy the fake because of what's really behind everything. You made a square lightweight champion. And Juan D has you hurt, he'll go for it. If he thinks he's just dominating you, he'll continue until he hurts you. Look at this stuff. The baby bird tries to attack. It's coming up short and then popping up. He's just fighting brilliantly here. And Diaz is trying, it's, it's so frustrating. He's been thumbed in the eye, so that could make a difference, but we're running out of time here. This is... You know, for a warrior like Marquez, if he's thumbed, maybe that he'll pick up the pace a little bit more to win this fight. He could the rest of the way out. Yeah. A lot to be said for now. In the picture, you know that the guys are really putting out, and it's been non-Marquez. And where does he go? Yeah. The big 135 pound guys and indicating that's as far as he's going to go. Well, it may be, even though he's only 12. But look at that right eye, I guess, totally closed. From the high score sheet, Patricia Morse Chairman, Jerry Roth, and Glenn Trowbridge are the official judges. Not his nature. And that is the great thing about Marquez. Look at the fluid, which is delivered sharply. That's what we see out of that right eye. He has his rabbit. So, to his left. Don't he keep coming back. Oh, he just got caught by right hand. Marquez would love to do it. He does finish him off. Because he knows he's got problem with the right hand. The ball is hit. But for the first time, oh, man, too many. To Chavez's angle, maybe not to the body. But Marquez, you know, talked about toes. But that's why he punches me okay. But he's in real good. Totally. He tumbles. Why 
right here. Yeah, he, he has told their first fight. Post, and he won't go. So I think what you said two or three rounds ago that my case is just a little bit better. Just... Right. Here we go, round number 10. Now let's see if the battles are... And again, he's just corner of Diaz. So he can keep the vision of this guy if we've had in the fight. Marquez, go for the middle. That's it. And that's what he's trying to do. They hit the guy in the middle. But that's why the pace is starts to go. He can't be waiting. He's lost the right eye. He's been given a terrific gift. That's the law for that stuff. So you realize they're losing their money. Did a crescendo coming up a bit? You don't know anybody putting one down to do it. He's not winning the round. Well, he's doing a lot of focus in this fight. This is when you have your all out boxing. In reality, that might be one of Diaz's best rounds. But he's ah. An excited scoring fight. Very entertaining in that if you love boxing, you're watching a look at Marquez's eye. He can see a little bit, not much. He just got focused. But why does it do this? They tell him the only way you win is by not to see. Winning the prayer time. Just like Marquez. And time is not on his side. I mean, this has got a Paulie Malinaji beat. Diaz looks stronger than yeah, yeah. This is his best round. So Diaz finally gets best round of the fight. Yeah? Ah! And Diaz needs a knockout to win. That's in the history of boxing. Let's see if he can execute it. Now uh, Diaz is still at Diaz in their second fight. This is a guy that, that can't get fighters. done a lot with his career. But, but this is an elite level Marquez that Diaz will try. Who's destined for the Hall of Fame in Canada's start. He will be dusting off the trophy. This has been a battle, but the pace of one bit. Now, with a little over a minute, it's been not These guys have set a toe a bit here. Now, look a second. This is professional boxing in paydays. And certainly both of these men have a huge payday for this one. And he deserves it. I speak to you. I thought it was a terrific fight. He entertained me too. We're all in it. The crowd oh, comes to its feet as they battle with the battle. It's all over. And only for the second time in the entire fight, the stick. All to the winner by unanimous decision. And still, lightweight champion of the world, Juan Manuel. Dinamita!